Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. This is the fifth and final of this particular marketing series that is taking a look at what we offer at Pro Audio Voices in our audiobook marketing program and how you can take these concepts, the way that we've put this program together, to potentially build your own version. And what we're trying to do is basically give you the overview and the reasons why we are doing all the different components that we are so that you can understand what those important pieces are and how you might utilize them, even if you're not a part of our audiobook marketing program. Today, we're going to be talking about building your support team. There are some basic elements to this discussion that we want to consider overall and that are factors in your decision making about having a support team, who they are, and, you know, or whether to try to do it all yourself. So those factors are time, money, and expertise. Many authors that I know try very hard to do as much of their marketing themselves. And I understand that marketing can be very expensive. And unless you're confident about where you're putting your marketing dollars, it can feel like it is wasted money. And that is certainly something that we are all trying to avoid, wasting money. And as with most things in life and certainly in audiobook production and marketing, there are aspects or elements that you can choose to do yourself and that works great. And there are usually elements that it is best to turn over to somebody who has expertise already developed in that area. If you think about the process of getting your book published, you will have most likely engaged someone, at least one person, to be your professional editor. You may have likely had someone who was also a proofreader. You probably had some help with layout, cover design. And for those who have an audiobook, also some aspects of the audiobook production. And perhaps that that might just have been pre-production. It might have been just help with post-production or submissions process. There are a lot of areas in the publishing process where we really benefit from having professional help. And while budget is almost always an issue for authors, I want to just dwell in this conversation a little bit because Many times we are only thinking about the short term and how to save money right now, or maybe I don't have that much right now that I can do a really big thing. And I think it's really valuable to take a moment to consider the bigger picture and the longer term. I would venture to say that for any author that is taking their writing to that level of wanting to really pursue it in some professional way, then you are going to require at various points in the process to have professional help. Because as a general rule, those authors that do it all themselves don't usually get very far in terms of being noticed, finding their way in the world of marketing and sales, There's so much to know, so much to learn, and there's no possible way for any one of us to know all that we need to know to do a really great job in marketing our own work. All the really successful authors have help. They all have a support team. And there are certainly parts of the process, parts of the marketing effort, 
that should be done by you and can be done by you. But we're going to take a look today at what some of those pieces are that you might delegate out to people who have the expertise so that they can do it in a cost-effective, quick, and truly successful manner, rather than having you try to take on the learning curve and then end up spending so much of your valuable time trying to figure out different systems, how to navigate different platforms, whatever the task is. Instead, you can spend your time doing the things that you love the most and that you do the best. And just as an example, if you are someone who has many books in you, if you are continuing to write more and more content, that's where you should be spending your time and figuring out your team that will support you in that process so that everything will continue to grow. If you are trying to write a book series, for example, and you've done books one and two, and you decide, oh, I really need to spend some time marketing now, but I'm going to do it myself. What's going to happen? Your train is going to fall off the track in terms of your writing. You're not going to be able to get the time to do the writing that you really need to do and want to do because you're going to be focused on trying to learn things that are not in your wheelhouse. So the first part of this episode is about recognizing the value in getting a support team together and figuring out the kind of team that you want to pull together, which pieces you want to do on your own, which are the ones that sound fun to you, which are the ones that you feel best at. And just to come back to the question, because I acknowledge that for many authors, there's not a lot of cash in the bank to be doing big marketing initiatives. But there are many ways that we can problem solve that particular issue. It may be that you may have a friend or a follower, a fan, who really loves your work and wants to support you and may help you by helping you financially to put together this piece. If you have a plan, a clear plan, and you know what you want to do, it is more likely that you will attract somebody who can help you from a financial perspective. Another way to look at this might be if you have somebody who provides these services that you need and you may not have cash to pay them, maybe there's something else that you have to offer that could be some kind of barter or partial barter to help either reduce the cost for you or do it as a straight trade. Rather than deciding that because you may not have as much as you think you need in the bank to do what you think you need to have done, I want you to take the moment to just open up that question and consider how else could I get there? How else can I make this happen? And it doesn't always need to be I guess I'll have to do it all myself. Let's take a short pause, and when we come back, we're going to dive into the specific areas of this support team that you may pull together. Looking for a way to get some direction and help with building your author platform and marketing your books and audiobooks? Pro Audio Voices created the audiobook marketing program to help authors like yourself get the support they need at an affordable rate. We work with you to bring your goals together with our marketing expertise to create a customized blueprint, the tools and materials to build your platform, step-by-step instructions, and the team to help you all along the way. For more information, visit ProAudioVoices.com and click on Audiobook Marketing Program. Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Okay, the first person that you may want to consider getting onto your team is a marketing expert, a marketing consultant, who can help you actually formulate the plan. With the audiobook marketing program that we offer, 
This is the person who is that marketing strategist who creates the blueprint, the plan. When you meet with people or are in conversation with people who may fit this role for you, bring as many questions as you can think of and bring also as much information as you can about your target audience, what you've tried so far from a marketing perspective, what has worked, what feels like it hasn't worked. Bring all that information to that conversation and it will be a valuable conversation even if you end up not going forward with the person that you're interviewing. Another professional that you may want to consider bringing onto your team is someone who has expertise in SEO or search engine optimization or keywords and hashtags. These lists of keywords and hashtags are really valuable to have because when you or whoever's on your team is going out and posting on social media, the only way that your potential fans and followers are going to find you is through this use of keywords and hashtags. I shouldn't say only, but it is certainly one of the main ways. So unless you have somebody who is like referring, recommending, already acting as like a super fan for you and getting the word out, someone who can help with this information is going to help bring those who are outside your current sphere of influence, who may be looking for something that is material like you're providing, but they just haven't found you yet. Just as when you go onto Google and search for something or go onto a social media platform to search for something, that's exactly what everyone else is doing. And so you want to make sure that you're incorporating those terms and tags to help your people find you. Another professional that you may want to bring onto your team is someone who can handle videos or other assets like that that you can use in your marketing. Once you have a plan, you'll have a better idea of exactly what you need. For example, if you are very active on Instagram and that's your place, using a lot of images and also using some short videos, these are going to be valuable assets for you to use as you or someone else on your team are doing that social media outreach. You do not have to be the one to create all those media assets. For our audiobook marketing program, it is one of the pieces that we do for our clients. You can have somebody do them for you. And there are many, many resources, many very skilled people all around the world who are available as freelancers that could create those videos and images help create specific designed posts for you for different social media platforms. Whatever you need in that media asset world, there are people who can help you create that. And that is one of the areas that doesn't have to be terribly expensive. So you definitely want to take a look at that as one piece that you may hire out to somebody. If you're going to be working in the YouTube world, and I strongly encourage that, you may want to have somebody like our recent guest, Ryan Perry, who works with our clients in the audiobook marketing program. You may want to have someone like that who really understands how to make YouTube work for you. Get some consulting time with someone like Ryan who can give you that guidance, help you figure out exactly what you need, how frequently you should post, what kinds of videos you should post. All of that can be turned over to somebody else so that you don't have to figure out that platform. And speaking of social media, you may want to hire somebody who can help you with your social media posting. Word of caution about this, and that is just that, remember that whoever you hire to do that for you is going to be acting as you. And so you want to make sure that you are checking to make sure that before they put anything out on social media for you, that you approve it, make sure it looks good to you, and make sure that you check on that, that you don't just do a sort of set it and leave it 
approach, that's really important because your social media is your front face to many people who don't know you yet. So they don't know if a post is off track or doesn't adequately or appropriately represent who you are. It is a piece that is often best handled by you yourself, but it can be delegated out. And that's something that you could either look to have somebody help with in part. So it may be a hybrid approach. You do some, you get some help. Maybe you get help just creating the posts for the social media calendar. And then when you go through and look to see what those posts are, you can approve or disapprove right there, and then you actually do the posting yourself. So you can tweak it if you want. Those are just some ideas around having somebody help with social media. Another piece of marketing, and this is actually less related to audiobooks than it is to print and ebook editions, but I'm going to mention it here since most audiobook authors have a print and ebook edition, and that is Amazon ads. If you are interested in delving into Amazon ads, you may want to work with a consultant who, at least at first, will help you set up your campaigns so that you have a better idea of how to approach them so that you're making money and not losing money. Another professional that you are likely to want to have some help from would be a website person, someone who understands how to quickly and easily manage your website or at least set up your website. And if you feel technically confident, like that's something that you can handle mostly once it's up and running, once you've got the template in place, things like that, then you could certainly use that as a way to go. That's the way I handle my website is when I have a larger issue, something on a bigger scale that I want changed or some new approach to a way of posting something on my website, I will have my web developer set that up as a template for me or set it up initially, and then I can adjust and modify the content going forward. So I'm mostly managing my own website in terms of content, but then there are many things that I will turn over to him. Not necessarily just because I don't know how to do it, Sometimes because I feel like for me to figure it out would just take more time than I think it's appropriate for me to be putting into it. Better to give it to someone who knows how to do it and knows how to do it quickly and efficiently. Another category where definitely best to get some professional help, and that is with public relations. If you are interested in really getting out there into uh, the media world, getting onto podcasts and TV and doing interviews and getting into blogs and into magazines, all of this kind of media outreach is a world unto itself. And that's why we developed a relationship with a public relations firm that has a lot of success in helping authors get out there in a public relations way. And so as part of our AMP Advantage program, we include a three-month PR campaign. And then there are just two other elements that I would include here. One is, point sort of goes back to that initial person who, it might be the person who helps you create your blueprint, or maybe it's somebody else who's just a marketing consultant, somebody you can turn to when you have questions. We offer that as part of all of our audiobook marketing programs. It is what we call access calls. It gives access to a marketing expert. And what I'm proposing here is that you want to find somebody that you can work with who will be willing to answer your questions and make sure that you're clear with that person on what the financial arrangement is around that kind of consulting because, of course, we want to maintain positive professional relationships with people and not take advantage of their goodness and kindness in sharing their expertise. And then the last piece that I feel this is not something that you would hire out, but something that I think is important, and that is developing a community around you. So your support team would be part of that community, but 
I'm talking about a little bit more on the ground level of having an author community, or it may be a fan base community, having people that you can check in with, you can get some feedback from, you might ask questions, they may ask questions. One of the great things about being in a community with other authors who are dealing with similar things is that you can learn from each other and you can support each other. And that expands everything for everybody who participates in that kind of nurturing, supportive community. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm just going to throw it in here again. And that is, if you're not yet aware of Bay Area Independent Publishers Association, BAIPA, B-A-I-P-A dot org, that is just such a community where people, authors and others in the independent publishing world come together to share ideas, to support each other. And it's an, a really excellent professional association. So to wrap up, we just want to remember that finding our support team is a critical part of success with audiobook marketing. Remember that your time is valuable and should be spent doing the things that you do best and that you love the most. Do what you do best and delegate the rest. Thanks again for joining me. If you have questions either about the audiobook marketing program of Pro Audio Voices or are curious about getting your book into audio production, please do reach out to us at proaudiovoices.com. We love hearing from you. We love your feedback on our podcast. And if you have questions that we haven't addressed in one of our episodes and you'd like me to speak to that, please email me. You can send it to Becky, B-E-C-K-Y, at proaudiovoices.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.